Hello. Hey everybody, my name is Owen Fox, and in today's video, I want to talk about um, the stories we tell ourselves about being on a journey, or being a student, or a learner, or being not good at things, and um, any type of like limiting beliefs that we tell ourselves. One second, let's try out a new thing. There we go. Let's see how that works. Um, just going to be a bit more hands free. But basically speaking, um, it's extre extremely. I'm a life coach and an author of two books, and I have a herb store, Higher Self Herbs, and I do life consultations of body, mind, spirit, physical, mental, emotional, and these are my passions in life. And I've been studying, researching, and practicing daily for over 10 years, 13 years or so. So if anyone needs any help or consultations, they just like, contact me, of course. Personal message me. So. In this video, I want to describe um, limiting thoughts and beliefs and stories so that we can be much more empowered and have much more fun, clarity in life and a happier, better time. So, for example, um, do we ever like tell ourselves we're not good at this or we can't do this? Um, it's essential to observe these things in ourselves and to let go. Do we ever like tell ourselves we're, 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 like, we're, we're just like learning all the time? Like, of course we're learning and it's just good to say we're learning. But do we say we're like, do we acknowledge the fact that we're like powerful, we're masters, we're brilliant, we're unique, we're special, we're awesome too. We are teachers, we're not just students. And every guru and every teacher have so much to learn. And I could teach them loads. <laughs> so could you. There's so much we can. The best teachers have gone through a lot of trauma and they're healing or have healed a lot. But you can either be. You can either be inauthentically humble, like today I was thinking about like someone about being humble, and I, somebody said to me they're humble, and I was like, I just I didn't say it, but I thought to myself, are they inauthentically humble, like faking it, <laughs> like are you pretending to be humble? Oh, I'm not that good. I'm just, you know, like pretending. <laughs> Chastity says heart. Thank you, Chastity. Graham says, oh, and is that an Irish accent? And yes, it is an Irish accent. I'm from Ireland. So if anyone has any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Or even any comments, I'll get I'll just like answer you. Um, so for me it's much better to be authentic. But uh, see there's two sides of it, okay? You don't want to be inauthentic and faking being humble, pretending you're not good, acting worse or lower than you really are. Like if you're really good at something, like offer your service. Like say, yeah, I'm a very good mechanic. Like I'm a good mechanic, I have a lot of experience, but I'm still learning and I'm I love helping people. You see how good and natural that feels, everybody. But if you start like downplaying yourself and acting humble, that doesn't serve anyone's good. At the same time, you don't be arrogant and think, oh, "I'm better than everybody else in this competition. I'm the best. I've learned everything that can be. I'm just the best." Like that's arrogance, okay? So we don't want that either. So, for people on the spiritual path, um, you, you don't you don't want to tell yourself the story too much. Like, "Oh, it's been a hard, difficult ride." Basically speaking, the, the, the number one rule is whatever story you're telling, you want it to feel good and empowering and positive. So if you say, ah, oh, it's been a hard ride, but look at me now. I've learned so much, I've come such a long way, and I'm thriving and prospering now. But if you tell yourself the victim story where it feels bad, like, it's been hard, I'm struggling with this all the time, it's just, I don't, I don't know what to do, I'm just feeling... You know, I'm feeling exhausted, I'm feeling tired, I'm just, life is like pessimistic. You don't, see how that feels bad, everyone? But you can say similar words and it feels differently depending on your belief system and perception about the exact same thing you're saying. So let's say if I said this now, are you ready? It's been a struggle, I struggle sometimes with this, but I love it because I'm always learning, I'm always collecting data, I'm sifting and sieving through life's experiences and every experience teaches me more what I want and what I what I what I'd like more of this gets into my 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 higher self wish for me to have and when I release the blocks and learn and heal more and start taking more inspired action then I'm going to get better and better and better and more and more and more see how good that feels but in the meantime I'm going to keep enjoying and finding cost of satisfaction appreciation and enjoying my life so uh Thomas says you missed the spot under your chin. <laughs> so, um, it's like, yeah, you don't want to tell yourself the stories if you're on the journey too much. What's inspiring me to make this post is, 
for me, I, I'm on a really cool journey with everybody. But I've arrived at a really cool place even more than the fact that I'm on a journey. You arrive every second and you're on a journey every second because when you arrive now, now is gone and it's new now. So you're always on the journey of change. Constant change is the number one. Like it's, for me, it's the number one most prevalent thing to acknowledge in life. The comings and goings. But for me, that's like good. It's exciting. It's new. It's fresh. Things refresh themselves. It's, if you have a different perception and belief, you're going to feel sad and pessimistic about your life and depressed about everything you've lost and they don't have yet. But that's not the perspective you want to have. That's going to make you miserable, of course. The perception you want to have is to love, cherish, enjoy, appreciate, and savor. If you can savor your life right now, if you can enjoy your life right now, and the people in your relationship, if you can enjoy, if you can savor, if you can appreciate, if you can relish, if you can love, it doesn't matter if your relationship breaks up. You've done your work 100%. If you can, that means nurturing, it means empowering, it means abundance, it means fun, it means laughter, it means play. Love, cherish, savor, appreciate, enjoy. You can add or take away any words if you want to simmer, but that's my motto. There's never a failure when you can live more in intentional living that's very empowering and it's very abundant to appreciate, you know, what you got. Because in my opinion, we all have enough to be happy and appreciate. Of course, sometimes it's difficult. I've like walked the journey of a soul coming in who's had a lot of difficult experiences early on in life. So I'm not clueless. I haven't been pampered. Like I've, I've gone through loads of hard times, solid, but it's been positive for me. It's been empowering. If you're willing to learn and grow and heal, your challenges will turn out to be the best experiences of your life because they will make every other experience rich. Because for example, before I lost all my money, like 140,000 US dollars, okay? I didn't appreciate taking out $750 from the ATM, the cash machine, okay? But when I lost it all, my life became rich, even though I was monetarily poor for a while, or whatever, it wasn't that poor, but a little, you know what I mean? So then when I started taking out $15, I loved it, and I appreciated it, and that was a rich experience. So you don't want to shy away from challenges in your life, everyone. And I know so many of the people who watch me and get coaching with me, and... I know so many people who like get coaching or follow me or learn like like to listen to me and enjoy me. There are people on the spiritual path, you could call it. But it, my intention for this video is that you, you you enjoy the journey in a much more positive framework and self talk. So you don't think like you let go of the idea or the feeling that you haven't arrived yet and it's coming in the future, which is great. But you want to live, you want to have that with feeling really good about it, not feeling lacking right now. So you want to be able to love, cherish, appreciate, savor, and enjoy your life right now. Your moment, your body, your, your parents, your relationship, if you have one, your children. If you're single, to love, cherish, appreciate, enjoy that. You have to do that when you're single. Otherwise, it would be very difficult to maintain a relationship that you love, cherish, appreciate, enjoy, and savor. You have to learn to be good single before you can be good in a relationship, in my opinion. At least to be very good and to be deep and to be rich. Yeah, most of us need to have stepped through the fire and had some hardships and losses before we can have a very good relationship and a very deep rich life where you feel very good so for me i was going to repeat it one last time in this video what i want you to take away mostly is what just what i said those five words and to apply them to everything in your life enjoy your kitchen enjoy your food enjoy your arms enjoy your toothbrush appreciate the lovely shower or the water or the bath or running or walking anything you can do even if you have a wheelchair, appreciate that. Love everything that's going on, you know. And I speak from this from experience too, having a lot of limitation in the past, for sure. So I want you to be happier about your life and to get excited more about your life. And love and appreciate your life and those in your life. And have more fun, happiness, joy, laughter, play, and giving presents as well. Even if, like anything, card or gifts. Yesterday, my partner gave me a lovely bicycle and uh, I was really, 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 really happy. And I'm still very happy. I'm still appreciating it. I'm still loving it. I'm still like savoring it. I'm still like lapping in it. It's still there in me. I haven't just forgotten about it. I'm still loving it. And I'm going to continue to love it for quite a long time. I'm going to keep carrying the appreciation, not just once, but like 50 times.
I want more. <laughs> but uh, one of see these videos aimed at people who are already on the spiritual path rather than total novices, so to speak, or people who are just beginning their awakening journey. But it's definitely for people in the awakening journey too. It's beginning. Um, yeah, um, yeah. You want to let go of like heavy stories that you're carrying and talking about and telling yourself or the people like if you're going to tell it put it in a positive frame and light where it sounds good and it feels good and it inspires you or other people and um, so be careful what you talk about related to what happened in the past that you didn't like or enjoy either about other people or certain losses or what you could call tragedies be careful how this isn't denial of emotions this is this is just simply creating different emotions around the subject you can keep creating sad emotions or you keep creating emotions of loving, appreciating the past people or situations while creating new emotions of being grateful and loving these things and people and the future that's coming too, but especially today that's here because that's where it all starts. Um, so to have, a, to have more empowerment, money, abundance, rich, joy, we want to let go of the blockages first, which I'm describing in this video. So, I get a lot of messages from people like looking for help like every single day, like, and I love to help people, and that's why I make a lot of free videos, live videos, and YouTube videos. So in the description of this box, I have my my consultation and where you can buy my books and just more about me and stuff like that. That's my my main website. I have my herb store, and I have my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook or befriend me. You can leave me a personal message. But at the end of the day. I can't message everyone deeply who messages me back. So I definitely strongly encourage people to just book consultations with me. Then you get the best of me, better than even the videos. Definitely much more personally applied. And I'm happy to give discounts for people who struggle with money because I don't want to omit people. I like to help people and I like to receive and share with people. And it's very happy and positive when people like share and receive from me and to me. And I appreciate the money that they share. And I, they appreciate the help that I share. So we both help each other. Um, so this is another example that you can live in your life of how you can learn to, to appreciate and practice kindness and giving and receiving and self-love and love to others. It's never good to leave yourself out of love um, unless it feels good and it's, it's not a continuous repetitive thing constantly in your life because otherwise you'll feel drained and exhausted. We always want to be loving and kind to yourself as much as you want to be loving and kind to others. In my opinion, you definitely don't want to play the martyr. Oh, look what I gave and sacrificed to you while I depleted myself and made myself less happy along in the process of life. You don't want to do that as a habit in life. I don't agree with that idea, like, give to everyone else first and leave yourself last. Because, like, you're a person just like them. You want to have a sense of balance and harmony, not forcing yourself to be always first. Nor do you want to force others to be always first. So sometimes you might want to open a presence for yourself first. Sometimes you want to present, open presents, let other people open presents. Sometimes you might want to buy others a present. Sometimes you might want to buy yourself a present. Sometimes you might want to like sit down first. Other times you might want to let other people who are tired first. But if you're tired, put yourself first. You don't have to be always like living the strong rules that can't be broken or mended, bended or mended. So. Uh, I hope um, I know I like this video because it's a nice day in Florida. I like making videos. I like to help people. People have been giving me a lot of positive response to my recent live videos. Uh, check out the last two in my pictures, album, live video section on my Facebook wall. I do. If you like these videos, do give them a like. They're always appreciated. Yeah, so Graham says that's not being authentic. Yeah, it's not being authentic, in my opinion, to be, not to be authentic. Yeah, so no forcing. Forcing, straining is generally not being authentic at all. So, anyone, um, yeah, I'll leave this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. And when you, when you do what I'm practicing in my life for a long time, what I'm sharing with you in this video, your life's going to get so much better. You're going to have more 
more you're gonna have more money and more money, happiness, satisfaction, and joy. You're gonna have better health and much better relationships with your family, children, parents, and loved ones, and friends and strangers. You're gonna have way better life. I swear to God, everyone speaking from experience here. There's a really good Chinese proverb: "Those who hear, forget, forget. Those who see, remember. Those who do and experience, understand." So I understand what I'm talking about. It's made my life so much better. And I trust and believe and know it will help you in your life if you apply any of these, especially if you apply all the things I said in this video. So everyone, I'll leave you and love you. Have a beautiful day. It's been a pleasure to share this video. And it's my joy to help you have better health, happiness, and peace of mind. If you need any more one-to-one -one help, don't forget to press and message me and check out my links that I've left for your further empowerment, abundance, positive feelings, happiness, and joy. See you everyone, have a nice day.